Japan's latest midsize sedan, the Fusion, has been a huge success ever since the second generation came out in 2013. The current generation Fusion won many buyers due to its sexy styling and its abundance of high-end technology features. Sales of the Fusion are certainly on par with the rest of the top-selling midsize sedans now, like the Nissan Altima and the Honda Accord. But to make the vehicle even more competitive, Ford has rolled out a refresh Fusion for 2017, which includes updated styling, more features, and a new V6, as well as a new platinum trim level. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at this 2017 Ford Fusion Titanium. Now our trim of the Fusion we have here is a pretty loaded model, it's a titanium model. Now the titanium used to be the fully loaded top of the line model on the 2016 Fusions. However, that belongs to the platinum trim, which is the top of the line model on this new 2017. And as far as styling goes on the new Fusion, I really do love the updates they've made here. And I really do like how they didn't change the whole profile of the vehicle because it was already a great looking car. But I really do love the LEDs they put on the headlights and then you have LED headlights now. And then they didn't change the Aston Martin looking like grill, which is nice. And then you have these 19 inch alloy wheels that do look pretty good. Overall, not a bad looking vehicle. Here goes the key fob design for the Fusion. Pretty nice looking key fob, you have your remote keyless entry, your unlock, lock, your remote engine start, and to release your trunk, and then your panic button. Now this color of the Fusion is known as the shadow black, and you do have smart key access on all four doors of the vehicle. A lot of mid-size sedans don't have that. And then it has a ebony leather interior, that's what Ford likes to call it, it's just a black leather interior power driver seat of course and your power recline and your power lumbar all right now stepping on inside of the fusions interior it's still very familiar looking to the 2016 fusion which is not necessarily a bad thing my biggest gripe is that it still feels a little spartan or austere inside of here. However, the most notable change that they've made inside of here is that they have a new rotary shift knob, which allows for more storage space inside of the vehicle, which is a nice addition. And of course you do have push button ignition. Just put your foot on the brake and hit the button to start. <laughs> And what you're hearing there is a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder. Full leather wrapped steering wheel. Coming to your transmission, we still have a six speed automatic despite the new rotary shift knob. And to select the gear you want, you just twist the dial like this. It's easy as that. And then in the center you have a sport mode. You also do have an electronic parking brake right here too. Putting the vehicle into reverse will display your rear view camera with guidance lines and you do have trajectory. You also do have rear parking sensors and you can zoom in like this, which is nice. Easy as that. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on the headlights and the hazards. Let's go ahead and check out the exterior of the vehicle. Automatic driver's side window. Just going to pop up the hood and check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors with LED turn signal indicators and blind spot detection. Now the Fusion also shares the same platform with the Lincoln MKZ. However, they look nothing alike. You have 19 inch aluminum wheels. Coming up front, love these new LED headlights. And you also do have LED turn signal indicators and fog lights too. Front parking sensors as well.
All right, now powering the Fusion here is an upgraded powertrain, and you will also find this in the Lincoln MKZ. It's a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder, the EcoBoost motor, that produces 231 horsepower at 5,500 RPM and 270 pound-feet of torque at 3,000 RPM, with EPA estimates being a reasonable 21 in the city and 31 on the highway. Now you can also go for a 2.5 liter four cylinder and you can go with a 2.7 liter twin turbo V6 and that's the new powertrain that you'll find in the sport models. A six speed automatic transmission is your only gearbox and you can go with front wheel drive or all wheel drive and not a lot of mid-size sedans offer all wheel drive. Competitors of the Fusion, of course, you have the vehicles in the mid-size sedan class. This includes the likes of the Honda Accord, Toyota Camry, the Nissan Altima, Volkswagen Passat, Chevrolet Malibu, Chrysler 200, Mazda 6, and the Subaru Legacy. Total vehicle price for our particular Fusion is $37,885. Like I said, EPA estimates are 21 in the city and 31 on the highway. Coming to the rear of the vehicle, the tail lights have been refreshed. Looks a little bit more like the Focus. And you have a rear spoiler. Coming to the rear of the vehicle, you have LED tail lights with LED turn signal indicators and a rear spoiler. You also do have dual exhaust tips and rear parking sensors. you have all of your basic powered features which includes power windows power mirrors and power door locks with memory seat settings for two people interior quality is certainly on par with the rest of the class soft touch materials abound everywhere inside of the cabin here you have nice soft touch materials on the upper door panel mid door panel and the armrest with nice stitching but we do have a pretty loaded model um, you'll find soft touch materials all up on the dashboard which is nice build quality is also excellent and i really just love the new gear shifter it certainly adds a much more premium vibe Kind of reminds me of Jaguar and Land Rover. Overall, not too shabby. But the only complaint I have with this interior is that it is slightly drab and kind of austere looking because it's all black. I would certainly get a different color combination if I was going to get the Fusion. The Lincoln MKZ uh, does a better job with um, making the cabin not feel as austere and... Um, blackish and kind of just drab feeling now coming to the steering wheel design i really do love the steering wheel design of the fusion a lot of buttons going on here however um coming to the buttons over here on the left so this controls this part of the information center this is all your vehicle information and then this part controls things like your entertainment navigation and your phone and i'll get a little bit more in depth on that in just a second you can also shift the vehicle manually via the paddle shifters i forgot to mention that when you put it into the sport mode you also do have adaptive cruise control and we do have your stereo mounted audio controls with your voice recognition and your bluetooth phone controls coming up here you also do have your auto dimming rear view mirror LED map lights, sunglass holder, and your sunroof with your sunroof controls. Some competitors in this class do offer panoramic sunroofs. You have your garage home link. You also do have cup holders down here too. And then down here is where you will find a pretty large storage compartment with a USB charging port and a 12 volt power outlet. You can also use this, this little storage cubby as a cell phone holder or something like that. And then down here is where you'll find your active park assist and then you have your park, parking sensors right there. 
down here you will find another USB charging port and another 12 volt power outlet. Decent amount of center console storage I have to say. Pretty impressed with that. Seating comfort is also pretty good in the Fusion. The seats are pretty soft. And I really do love how they made the seat backs um, not hard or plastic. They actually made it in this kind of like leather like material which is nice. Um, but the seats are very comfortable, great for long road trips, and good on thigh support too. Visibility on the Fusion is okay. Um, it's certainly not the best in the class, but when you get to um, the glass area on the front windows, it's pretty good. The A pillars are actually pretty thin too. Um, seeing out of the windshield is also pretty easy. But when you get to rearward visibility, it is compromised a little bit. There is a pretty big blind spot back there, but at least they have a rear quarter window, which is nice um, due to that sleek rear styling. The visibility is not all that great in the rear. There are some competitors like the Toyota Camry, Honda Accord, and Volkswagen Passat that are a little bit better when it comes to rearward visibility. Coming to the climate controls, the climate controls have a pretty clean looking layout overall just like with the lincoln mkz i wish the buttons were a little bit bigger for the climate controls but you do have your fan speeds it also shows you up on the sync 3 infotainment system of what fan speed level you're at you also do have your temperatures right here it's pretty easy to operate no complaints here it's much better than what they had in years past with uh touch sensitive buttons you also do have ventilated front seats and heated front seats And then you have your rear window defroster, front window defroster, of course. The gauges in the instrument cluster are still very familiar here. Nothing really has changed with this. And in the center, you will find your speedometer. And then on the left-hand side, this is your driver information center. And you have your fuel gauge. Shows you your display mode. You have your fuel range, distance to empty. Your trip odometer, of course. Fuel economy gives you your average fuel economy. Driver assistance like your rear cross traffic alert, adaptive cruise control and your blind spot detection, your lane keeping assist, and your pre-collision system too. Lots of driver assistance technologies on the Fusion. Then there's settings that you could change for the vehicle like the auto engine off, lighting, door locks, oil life reset, windows, remote start, the wipers, and you have your my key. You can change the display setup from the distance, change it to kilometers or miles. Temperature, Fahrenheit, Celsius, gauge display. Lots of settings that you could change here. Overall, it's a nice little nifty information center. On the right hand side, it shows you your entertainment. Shows you um, what audio source is playing or what radio station, and then your navigation, it shows you turn-by-turn -turn directions from here. Then you have your phone, you can hook up your Bluetooth phone and make telephone calls from here. Overall, love the gauges and instrument cluster. All right, now let's get to the main head unit. This is the Sync 3 infotainment system. I've seen it many times here before, and I love it because it's very simple and intuitive. Now, this is your home screen right here, and to go to the home screen, you just press on the home button in the upper left-hand corner, and it shows you your navigation, and then your audio, and then your Bluetooth device. As you can see, the responsiveness is lightning quick on the system. And then you're coming to your different audio sources. We have all of the norm here. AM, FM, Siri, satellite, radio, your CD player, Bluetooth, streaming audio. It's a much better head unit than the My4 Touch system. Coming to climate, you can control your climate functions from here if you don't want to do it by the buttons down here. You have your temperatures, of course, and then you can select your different zones, fan speeds, all that good stuff. Then you also do have a heated steering wheel. Coming to phone, you can hook up your Bluetooth phone, all that good stuff. Have all of your contacts stored on here. Make telephone calls. Then you have your navigation system. Navigation system is very simple, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's pretty easy to use, and I love how you can zoom in and out with just your fingers. Or you could do it by the button right here. And it shows you live traffic, and then it also shows you points of interest. But don't expect to find anything like 3D rendering of buildings. But this is a good navigation system. 
apps coming to your apps you have your device connect mobile apps and then your series travel link which shows you movie listings sports info um, your ski conditions weather fuel prices coming to other settings for the system you have your sound clock Bluetooth radio navigation mobile apps 911 roadside assistance display voice control and then your valet mode your ambient interior lighting which you could change different colors for it pretty cool there and then your Android Auto and then you also do have Apple CarPlay lots of settings that you can change for the system here and you also do have a Wi-Fi hotspot inside of the vehicle overall love this sync 3 infotainment system it's one of the best head units in the business now compared to its platform mate the Lincoln MKZ the Fusion is actually a little bit more fun to drive than that vehicle and it feels more nimble around corners and you can feel for where this vehicle is trying to go it's one of the best handling mid-size sedans in the class the two liter turbocharged four cylinder certainly provides lots of power for the fusion there's no need for more power but if you want you can go for that 2.7 liter twin turbo v6 that's pretty powerful and the six-speed automatic transmission does work pretty smoothly with this turbo four cylinder Overall, not too shabby. The ride quality is also pretty good, pretty smooth and compliant over road bumps, and it um, really gets rid of those road imperfections pretty well. And then it's also pretty quiet at highway speeds. Overall, driving the Fusion, it's certainly one of the best midsize sedans to drive. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down and check out the rest of the vehicle. Build quality and materials certainly follow through in the rear. Still nice soft touch everywhere. Now sitting back here in the Fusion, due to the pretty sleek styling, the headroom is slightly tight back here. Some taller adults may find it a little bit hard to sit back here. But legroom is okay. It's on par with the rest of the class. There are some vehicles that are roomier for the rear passenger seats, like the Toyota Camry and the Volkswagen Passat. But you do have dual map pockets back here, rear air vents, a 12 volt power outlet, and a house outlet down there. And then the headrests are also adjustable back here. And you have a rear center armrest with cup holders, of course. The seats themselves are also quite comfortable, not too shabby. Alrighty. Trunk space is pretty good back here. Powered passenger seat with power recline and power lumbar box compartment so the 2017 Ford Fusion is an excellent choice for a mid-size sedan for 2017 with its fuel efficient and powerful turbocharged engines its sleek interior with many features available and its sexy good looks and with these updates it only made the Fusion more competitive so remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews